If you've driven down West Broadway in Crystal, you may have noticed a church is now where a bowling alley used to be. Cornerstone Church Crystal says taking over Doyle's Lanes was the perfect fit, and Shannon Slatton gives us a tour of what it looks like inside. For more than two decades, Cornerstone Church called a neighborhood school building in Crystal home. They leased out space to different charter schools and it worked. For us, it was just perfect timing. Until the church got an offer they couldn't refuse. Beacon Academy made an offer on the building and we sold without having any idea um, through the process where we were gonna end up and we ended up here. So the church made their own leap of faith and looked for a new building knowing they wanted to stay in Crystal. We saw an opportunity to say this establishment in this community that was so important to the community could still be that, but different. Um, and so for us, you know, we bought a bowling alley and we transformed it to a church. Last summer, crews started transforming lanes into space that could still be a gathering place for the community. The Pharisee had invited Jesus for one very particular reason. The church held its first service in September. We don't want you just to be surface level, kind of hang out in and out the doors, but we want you to be connected. You can still see parts of the old bowling alley sprinkled throughout the building, like a part of the sign that's here in the office. We actually were pretty intentional about using some of the wood from the lanes. The church embraced the building's bowling alley history. Wood from the lanes has been incorporated into signs and tables throughout the building. Every family in our church has a bowling pin somewhere in their house. The church added more windows and it brings in natural light to the Northwoods themed kids space. Each room kind of has its own identity. Most rooms are multi-purpose. People come in, they really appreciate, I think, those small little nods to Doyle's. The church says around 400 people attend services every Sunday and they are planning for a big crowd for their first Easter hoping more people see how new life can transform an old space. This church is connected to its community, um, and we really, we just love that um, feel that we can offer to people. In Crystal, Shannon Slatton, CCX News. It was 70 years ago this month, the church started by meeting in the Franklin Creamery in Minneapolis.